Hey boys and girls, before we start our new author, I thought we would review the past two authors that we've learned about. I'm going to do two things. First, we're going to think about the words the author chose, and then we'll start thinking about the illustrations. All right, so get ready for this guessing game. I will be reading parts of a book, and then I want you to guess if it's either from Dr. Seuss or from Mo Willems. Book number one. It is fun to sing. If you sing with a ying, my ying can sing like anything. Is that written by Dr. Seuss or written by Mo Willems? Dr. Seuss! It's from One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. Book number two. But that new thrush on my toothbrush, him I could do without. Is that Mo Willems or Dr. Seuss? Dr. Seuss! There's a locket in my pocket. <clears throat> hatching? The eggs on my head are hatching? Mo Willems or Dr. Seuss? Mo Willems from There's a Bird on Your Head. Next book. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? No fair! I bet your mom would let me. Was it Mo Willems or Dr. Seuss? Mo Willems from Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. Next. But we know a man called Mr. Gump. Mr. Gump has a seven hump wump. So if you like to go bump bump, just jump on the hump of the wump of gump. What do you think? Mo Willems or Dr. Seuss? I'll give you a hint. Did you hear all those rhyming words? Who uses rhyming words? Dr. Seuss from One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. All right, now we're going to guess between the two authors in a different way. We're going to look at their illustrations. I'm going to zoom in on a part of their drawings, and then I'll slowly zoom out. And you guess who it is as I start to zoom out. I wonder if you'll get them right. All right, I've zoomed in on a spot in the book. What do you think? Mo Willems or Dr. Seuss? Mo Willems or Dr. Seuss? Oh, that is a big clue. Who has that character? It's Mo Willems, a pigeon book. Ooh, I zoomed in really close on this page. You notice. Do you see those lines, those black lines to add texture like fur? Who does that? It is Dr. Seuss. If you guess Dr. Seuss, you are right. Oh my goodness, this is so blurry. Maybe if we zoom out, it will focus better. What do you think? Dr. Seuss or Mo Willems? Wow, this is very close in on that page. We do know Dr. Seuss and Mo Willems use black outlines. But this looks like it's crayon. Do you remember which author it looked like they used black crayon on their edges? Hmm, this is definitely Mo Willems. Hey, Miss Sarah, that's not fair. I don't see anything. Well, let me go this way. Look at this black line. Does it look like a crayon to you? Hmm, maybe I'll follow this black line and see where it goes. Hmm, more black lines. Let's keep going. What does this look like to you? Oh, that should be a big clue right there. Definitely a Dr. Seuss illustration. All right, what do you think? I see a black line. It doesn't look like it's made of crayon. What is this? Let's zoom out. Oh, just kidding. It's a Miss Sarah original. I hope you had fun with that. That was cool. You know, a couple months ago, you never would have been able to answer those questions. You're learning so, so many cool things about authors. So one other thing that you can try to do is try to play this video for one of your family members and see if they can figure it out. Ooh, I bet if you teach them about Mo Willems and Dr. Seuss right before you show them the video, maybe they'll be able to answer correctly. Are you a great teacher? Thanks for learning with me. Take care.